All right. How do the two of you feel? Feeling pretty good? All right. It's in from the judges. Our 2012. So you still think you can speak grand champion is... Nice. Keep it going. It's 617 Patrick. <laughs> Put your hands together for Patrick. For and I had a remarkable experience last year when I saw Patrick O'Malley at the National Speakers Association Conference. Well, he won the Rising Star Professional Speaking Competition in front of a thousand professional speakers, and I thought he was quite extraordinary. I really enjoyed learning from him as a speaker, and I think you will too. If you're thinking of booking a speaker for your next meeting, Patrick will do a wonderful job for you, and you'll be very happy that you did. Our second right there, grand baby. finalist. He's had 10 minutes to prepare on the world champion ostrich racer, I believe. But help me welcome back to the stage none other than 617 Patrick. Thank you, everyone. I stand in front of you with the proud title, World's Best Ostrich Jockey. And there are lessons to be learned from my path that you could also learn in your path. If you want to be a great speaker, a lot of the lessons that I learned along the way may help you. Here's an example. When I was a young child, I dreamed of being an ostrich jockey. I rode ducks. I rode chickens. I rode other things. And I didn't realize that riding an ostrich would be the same thing. Now, like all kids, I grew up wanting to be an ostrich jockey. And when I first got on that ostrich, I assumed it was going to be the same as riding a duck or riding a chicken. But in fact, it was much different. But I wouldn't listen. This is the problem. I was stubborn, and I wouldn't learn. And in my neighborhood, there were loads of other ostrich jockeys. And I should have learned from those other ostrich jockeys, but I was too stubborn. So when I get on a an ostrich, I assume that I just take my belt or a string and put it around its neck and I would ride. But that's not the way that you would ride an ostrich. So I would fall off. And I kept falling off until I broke through that stubbornness and I finally said, I'm going to try to learn from other people. So I tried to learn from the other people around me who told me that when I ride an ostrich, I should, I should ride him by the wings because that's the best way to control him. And I learned speed. But then I had to learn to do turns. For instance, at the International Championships, at the Indy 500, right around the street, you have to take the big left turn. Now, you don't have to take a lot of them, but you have to take that left, and you have to learn how to take that left. I didn't know how to do it, so I kept slamming into the wall with my ostriches until I learned from the other people that are around me. And they taught me that the way to steer an ostrich was by the neck. And I learned to take that left turn, and that left turn, and that left turn, and that left turn. But I never could have done it if I didn't learn from the people around me. And that's what I'm trying to tell you for this week. You have an unbelievable opportunity to learn from the rock stars in your business. Not just in sessions like this, but in the bars and the restaurants and in the other areas that you're going to be in. The best of the best are here. So if you want to become a world champion speaker, do the same thing that I did as a world champion ostrich jockey. Learn from the other people around you. Don't keep your head in the sand. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Oh, all right.